Let's see what's been in the news in the past week. The 20th week of 2021. But first I would like to say thank you to my subscribers because you guys encourage me to continue making these videos. The news. Tenpole. Oh, are you serious? Actor Charles Grodin died at age 86. What was his first leading movie role? Uh, the middle one sounds familiar. I don't think A sounds familiar, so I'm gonna guess C. Oh, it was our break it. Okay, don't know what that is. Uh, 52% got this right. Which team hired Kelly Klein as the NFL's highest ranking female scouting executive? I'm gonna guess Denver, not for any reason, just cause. 48% got this right. The first two answers were B. Which landmark arch collapsed this week? It's not the Gateway Arch, cause I would've heard that, there's no way. I've never heard of the other two. So I'm gonna guess C. Oh, it was, dang. Oh, it was a natural rock arch. I wonder why it collapsed. 49% got this right. The winner of a new Discovery Channel reality show will get to visit the set of Naked and Afraid, the International Space Station, the Galapagos Islands. Well, I'm going to guess the Galapagos Islands. It is the Discovery Channel. The International Space Station. 53% got this right. Which sportcaster announced their retirement? Aaron Andrews, Chris Berman, Marv Albert. Marv Albert sounds familiar, so I'm gonna guess him. Oh wow, 52% got this right. What was found when an Italian lake was temporarily drained to repair a reservoir? A shipwreck, a village, or a treasure chest? Um, it's a lake, so I'm gonna guess a village, because a shipwreck would take up a lot of Oh, wow. okay, 53% got this right. I'm guessing, like, an old village that got drained, like, hundreds of years ago, or flooded hundreds of years ago. Who announced that she'll be a co-producer on her own biopic? Barbara Streisand, Dolly Parton, or Cher? Okay, I'm gonna guess Dolly Parton also because she's a B. Cher, 44% got this right. Which YouTube video is being deleted and auctioned as an NFT? History of Dance, Charlie Bit My Finger, The Gummy Bear Song. I'm gonna guess B, because at least that one kind of sounds familiar. 51% got this right. LEGO announced its first ever clothing line, LGBTQIA plus set. TV show. Have they? N I I have to assume they've had a TV show. Um, I wouldn't expect them to have a clothing line, and I don't know what B would be like. I mean, their characters are just characters. I'll guess C. Huh. 56% got this right. Next question. HBO released a trailer for the upcoming Friends Reunion. When did the show's final episode air? I'm gonna guess 99. 43% got this right. Oh, dude, I got 5 out of 10. That's gotta be the best one I've done, at least on this channel. Okay. Whooping it up. Whooping cranes taking off during spring migration in South Dakota. What? What lends the whooping crane its name? It's call, it's flight, it's clumsiness. I'll say it's call. 
It's called 93% Got This Right. The unique and very loud call of the whooping crane is sounded during courtship rituals, either by a single bird or in unison. Sometimes a crane will also call to warn other cranes of potential danger. The loud calls of a whooping crane can be heard at distances greater than a mile. To teach captive bred whooping cranes to migrate in the wild, scientists use sandhill cranes, implanted GPS devices, or aircraft. Um, other cranes make sense. I don't know that that would work. I don't know how they are, you know, together. Aircraft. 63% got this right. Conservationists have reintroduced three populations of whooping crane with the help of captive breed programs. One of these populations was migratory, but the captive bred birds needed to learn the route. The problem was solved with the help of an ultralight aircraft, which guided young cranes on their fall migration from Wisconsin to wintering grounds in Florida. After learning the migration route, the young cranes made their return flight on their own the following spring. Well, that's good. I assume it has to be super quiet. They say ultra light, but I assume it also has to be quiet. Uh, what did I do? Whooping cranes are loud, but they're not the loudest bird. What is? Um, I want to guess the cockatoo. White bellbird. Never heard of it. 32% got this right. This loudmouth is about the size of a pigeon and lives in the Amazon rainforest. Its mating call was measured at 125.4 decibels, which is the loudest bird call ever recorded. That's so loud it's above the human pain threshold and is equivalent to the level of noise made by a jackhammer. Damn. I mean, bird, birds are, are really loud anyway, so... I would have said most birds are louder than a jackhammer, at least parrots. Or some types of parrots. Oh, dude, I got one out of three. I had three in a row, three days in a row that I got three, all three questions correct, and then yesterday I got none. Alright, before I forget, I want to do... Let's do the word of the day. Ravel. Untangle or unravel something. But if you're unraveling something, wouldn't ravel not mean that? Okay, um. Previous words. Disarming. Listless. Impudent. Regal. Norm normative. Okay. Now. Being. Quote of the day. As my first tips trace line and curve. Hang on. First. As my fingertips trace line and curve, they discover the thought and emotion which the artist has portrayed. Helen Keller. American author and activist. Okay, did not know she was an author. And now I look at this one. For Endangered Species Day, celebrated annually on the third Friday of May, we're featuring the whooping crane, one of only two crane species found in North America. Once seen throughout Midwestern North America, whooping cranes were driven perilously close to extinction by the early 1940s, with fewer than two dozen birds in the wild. Thanks to conservative efforts, their numbers have now risen to more than 600. While that's good news, this limited recovery is still fragile and these incredible creatures remain imperiled, particularly by the loss of their wetland habitat. Gee, I wonder how they lost that. Whooping cranes are so named because of their unique and very loud call, which they sound either alone or in unison. The calls are so loud that they can be heard at distances greater than a mile. Part of the reason the whooping crane is so loud is its trachea, which can be almost five feet long, curling into the bird's sternum to help it project. 
Um, okay, I think I know what the sternum is. I do not know what the trachea is. Uh, I now have an idea of where it is. Oh, we have tracheotomy. Okay, I think I've... An, uh, no, close this. Hey, I forgot last time. Oh, it's just a quiz. And, okay, let's do these other two. Too few tigers. It's National Endangered Species to Stay. Did you know tigers are at risk? Oh, it's about tigers. And, daily poll. Pick your preference and see how you compare. Which of these Jim Henson creations do you think is the most meditational? Kermit gets all the attention, so I'm going to say Fozzie. 85% to 15%. Thank you for watching, and see you later.